If you don't know how to update Design Space on your iPad or iPhone, you're going to want to watch my video about it right after you finish this one. Because we've been waiting and Cricut has finally released the offset feature for iOS. Version 5.6.0 includes the offset feature and I'm impressed with it. Stick with me to see how to use it and what is impressive. My name is Ruth. This is Hank's Maker Mentor, where I help you learn how to make. Let me quickly explain what offset is if you're unfamiliar with what we're talking about it in designing. It's a layer that's the same shape as the original layer, but either larger or smaller, generally larger. It's used to create dimension. You'll see it used to make stickers, to make patterns easier to read on designs, and in many other places. Open up the project you want to work with. It can be a new project or a saved project. Select the layer you want to have an offset. It can be a shape, image, text, or group of objects. Select Edit at the bottom of the screen. This is the icon you're looking for. Click on it to open this window. In this example, it's a hot air balloon. You have the layer you selected and a pink line around it. The pink line shows you the edges of the offset. You can adjust the slider to increase or decrease the size of your offset. If you prefer to type in the amount, you can click on this box and type it in. You can change the corners to rounded or square. This one doesn't change when I click this, but most other designs will. When you're happy with the offset, click Done here on the top right corner of this window. It will show you the canvas again with the original layer, the same as before. The offset will be behind it in this dark gray. You can change the color of your offset the same way you usually do. I have this text ready so I can show you the things that are different with text. When you select one, the edit bar is a little different. The left side will have the options that only apply to text, like font, style, letter space, and so on. To the right, you'll see offset. If you're using your device in portrait orientation, keep scrolling over, you'll get there. It's just past the position settings. It shows up in the same window, but the number of pink lines has changed. Each letter has its own line. They overlap each other right now, but not always. This is an offset that changes with the square corner instead of the rounded corner. You can also flip this toggle for weld offset. So instead of a line around each letter, everywhere they overlap, the lines have been merged. This can be changed as you change the size of your offset, but when you click done and go to canvas, they will be welded and can't be separated. Just like when you weld a normal project. You can apply the offset welded or not and weld it later if you choose. When you're happy, click done. You're not limited to one offset per layer. You can repeat the process to make as many offsets as you want. If you want them the same size offset, you can create the second offset using the first offset and keeping the slider size the same. They do all turn up the same dark gray, so you will need to keep track of which ones you've made. The layers panel will help. Now that you've seen how it works, what do you think? Are you impressed? Let me know in the comments. I am. The process is faster on my iPad than it was when it was first released on the desktop. For more videos about design space and crafting, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's free for you and helps me as a creator. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.